Right, so what I'm going to do is a quick example of how to save an image that's overexposed. As you can see, the roof's overexposed, and in the histogram, it's pushed to the right. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll be able to pull the information back in and have detail in this exposed area. So we'll give that a go. So I'm in the develop module to start off with, and first off, we'll go over here and we'll align our histogram. Um, because I've got no grey areas to click on or white areas to make a neutral um, neutral selection, I'll just go to auto. So auto, we've changed our white balance a bit. So next steps, as we always do, is we go down to the whites and drag our whites so we can drag them all the way up. And of course, holding down the uh, Alt or Option key and go all the way left. So we're trying to what we're trying to do is getting rid of all that white out of the black. And already, as you can see, that's uh, I've undone the whites and I've redo the whites. It's bringing details back in. All right, so next step is to do the blacks. So we do this on every image anyway, is align the blacks and the whites. So as you can see, uh, there's no blacks there. I was holding down the old option key. And the image is looking better already. So there's a before and after, and I'm just doing that by selecting the uh, forward slash key and it just shows you before and afters. Alright, so the next one would be the highlights. And as you can see when I hover over the highlights and you look up here in the histogram, it's this section here. So what I'm going to do is drag that to the left and hopefully bring some back detail and hold down the option key again. And we're not... So we're just going to leave a couple of dots in this time. I think that's good. All right, so our next step would be to come up to exposure and we're just going to down that. So if I do hover over it and down arrow, it takes it down in tens and if I hold down the shift key, down arrow, it does it in thirds. That's only for the exposure. All these others are different. They mainly do it in twenties and fives. All right, so I'm just going to make the exposure a bit more darker to where I really like this roof. Um, yeah, it's starting to look really nice. So if I press the uh, forward slash key, key again, you can see the big difference it's made. I might just take that roof off a bit. Uh, we can move our shadows forward a bit as well. Open up the shadow areas. So if I drag all the way right and all the way left, just gives us a quick preview. And zero is always the center. So. We just want a little bit of colour in that door, not too much. And now I think we can come and play with the contrast, make it more contrasty, less contrasty. But I think I'll just leave it on zero. Um, Command Z to undo that. All right, so that's pretty much it. And as you can see, we've really changed this image from an overexposed or exposed to the right and we've brought detail back into the image which is really good so it's up to yourself what exposure you like it's kind of creative freedom all right so that's it if you got any more questions just ask